it is time for our third Harry Potter themed Manny here. Um, so today's house is um, Ravenclaw. So we have this uh, cute blue and kind of dark with the, um, pretty sure that's light year. We'll look in a second, but blue and kind of dark black colors. I think it's going to look super cute. We have the new overlay from um, the fall release in here. So I'm excited to use that. Um, so anyways, let's see what's in here. We have, oh, Storm, Stormwatch and Mind Matters. So that's what I was thinking. Mind Matters, not um, light year. Anyway, sorry. So Stormwatch, Mind Matters, Fortune Teller, and Blue... Bleh. Blue clay jacket. There we go. I got it. Took me a second, but I got it. So, and again, of course, these are all mixes that Alex did, as per usual. <laughs> I cleaned my desk today, and I moved some stuff around. I think the lighting, at least for you guys, is better. I have a bit of a shadow from my phone, but when I am looking at it, it looks like the lighting is a lot better on the actual video. So I'm hoping it's better. Let's see. You guys will have to let me know what you think. <clears throat> All right. that. I think I might do something with both of these on the middle finger, maybe. Hmm. I'm not sure. Let's think about it for a minute. There's our thumbs. All right, the other thing I wanted to do was make sure that I took out what I wanted to use for the um, bits and bobs here. I'm gonna put this one on the thumb again. I've used this one on the thumb before, I think. I'm gonna use it again. Um, we have a Hogwarts Railway um, symbol one here that I was gonna use on the other thumb. So take that out. Um, I already had these ones in an open pack. I'm definitely gonna use those. So we've got the little key and the um, Quidditch ball. I think we'll do those on the ring finger maybe they fit good there i think then we need to do a ravenclaw house banner here don't know if i want two or one because i also have one of the owls i've got the nine and three quarters which i've put in every manny and we'll have one left for the final one and then we have some Dobby. Um, so I gotta figure out if I wanna use one or two house banners. Why don't we do a house banner on the pointer finger? don't think we're gonna use the owl this time. I'll use that with the last one, the Huff and Puff Manny. Um, let's take this out. We'll put this on the one of our fingers as well.
Maybe we'll put that like on a middle finger. And then we could also, I'm gonna do both house banners. We'll do a house banner on a middle finger too. And then I'm gonna open up Dobby and take out Adobe and we'll do him on one of the fingers too. Dobby Dobby, I, I'm sure I pronounce it wrong. I'm horrible at pronouncing some stuff. Trying to clean up as I go so that I don't have another mess here to clean up. My desk was a hot mess. I took everything off and just like totally redid it. All right, so I'm just not going to put one on the pinkies is basically what it's going to come down to, I think. Yeah. All right, and let's take our little Dobby out of here. And we'll put him in with the nine and three quarters. And then we'll seal this little guy back up so we can use them for the last Manny. And then I have a bunch left still, so I don't know. Maybe at some other point down the road we'll do a, some more Harry Potter themed ones. Maybe I'll make my own mixes or something. I don't know. But I have a ton of the decals left. Because I was like, give me two of everything. <clears throat> I definitely didn't need two of everything, but you know, that's all right. Let me turn on my sealer so I can seal those back up. But I don't know how I want to do this because, 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 okay, that would give me, although I was going to cut these in half, I think and use them, but I don't know for sure. And then, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how I wanna use up these strips here. We're definitely gonna use this one on the pinky. So let's just get started, right? And then maybe the rest will come to me. And what one is this? This has to be Stormwatch. This one here, the blue sparkly one. I love it. You know how I feel about my sparkles, my glitter. It's pretty. these nails again because I just wasn't happy with how they were looking it was weird they were like at that tip they were coming up too much like they were I don't know I don't even know how to describe it but I wasn't happy with them so I actually took out I have a nail drill like they use in the salon at home so I took it out and kind of thinned out more um, which resulted in them becoming shorter because when I was thinning them out, sometimes a lot of the top part like started to, I went a little overboard with this one. You can see it's kind of a shorty now, but, um, yeah. All right.
Hold on. So, anyways. This is why I stopped going to the nail salon, because I was never happy with what they did. And I would come home and fix it. <laughs> and then I would be like, why, why am I doing this? Like, why am I spending all this money to have my nails done to come home and redo it anyways? So, I don't know. All right. Fortune teller's pretty. It has like a nice sheen to it. Yeah, see, it's still, the lighting looks really good on the video, but I have such a shadow that I'm looking at as I'm trying to do my nails. It's insane. I don't understand how it can be so good on camera, but I'm having like, I can barely see. Ooh, that's pretty. Not on this little stubby nail it's not, but it's pretty. <laughs> okay. Oh, almost put it on the wrong finger. Really, Heather? How are you going to try and put it down over a strip you already put down? Dingleberry. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited to see how this looks. I don't know why, but these like fashion themed overlays are they're making me very happy, I think. I like them. Or they, I think I'm going to like them anyways, you know, like this one, the the favorite flannel that was in the other one, and I feel like these clothing themed strips they came out with were really kind of cute. Okay. Yeah, I like that. That's super cute. So I'm really not going to have two layers to put on my pinky, I don't think. So maybe we'll put one of the overlays on the pinky instead of a different finger so that I have another layer on the pinkies. Oh, that is really cute. I like that a lot. I hate it on this short stubby nail, but on this one, I think it looks really good. I really like the color of it. It's cute. All right. So what I was thinking, let's see. of these on the middle finger. We're going to cut them with the wavy shear. And you know what? Maybe we'll do is like slant type tip. Let's see. But we're going to do a wavy one, not just a regular one. All right. 
So I'll put this down first, I think. That is such a pretty color. I love all the glitter in it. Okay. into me. I also have my um, desk warmer on because it is so chilly that my hands were really cold. And I was afraid they would not stick well on my freezy cold hands so I decided I needed my warming mat on. This is kind of sheer is the only problem. So I think that Mind Matters might show through too much. I don't know. No, it's good. What do you think? Yeah, I like that. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. I kind of want them to have, like, even though I cut them together, I want the waves to be, like, in different patterns. I don't want them necessarily going the same. Like, I want them to be a little bit different. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but... is the only problem with a good sticky strip is it loves to stick to my fingers instead of anything else. There we go. Come on. Literally sticks to everything else. <laughs> I like it. You know what I think I want to do though is come on. Drives me nuts when it sticks like that. All right. Now we're going to put this over it too. I think this will look cute. Let's try it and see how it looks. It's 
so like just over the blue part more so than the although it doesn't matter because if it was the part that would go over mind matters you wouldn't see it anyways so it doesn't really matter how I put it on there see it a little bit so I think you guys will see, I'm trying to remember when I posted it for, I think the first like full Harry Potter Manny video, I think I have up for um, tomorrow or Mon I don't remember, sometime next week I think. trying to remember I don't know I posted it though like and put it post dated so it would be ready to go instead of waiting on me to actually get around to loading it because if I wait to load my videos I I end up going with like big gaps because I forget and then it's been a week and I haven't posted anything <laughs> so I have that one uploaded already I've got to put together an edit video too still, but that one will come out probably next week too. So this one you'll be seeing week after next probably. Um, so far I've only left each one on for a day. I haven't done a like worn any of them for a long time. All right. I think what I'm going to do with this is we're going to do a full finger with Mind Matters and then put that other piece of the blue wavy slant on with it. So let's actually stretch this a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. That's a little jiggle. Okay. I really like the um, colors in this one. I'm not typically a light blue person, but I do like this color. Yeah, see, that's usually my jam. Look at how beautiful that is. Dark and gorgeous. Dark and gorgeous. Love it. So we'll have one more. I've got um, Huff and Puff left to do. Um, and then, and then, and then, we will start the official Halloween or spooky season manis. I think these are, I kicked off Halloween manis with this because I felt like this is a good Halloween Manny, but um, we'll start the like actual like just spooky season themed ones, not Harry Potter-ish ones. 
um, in two weeks. All those videos will go up. Um, we're gonna work our way through our box, literal box of mixed mayonnaise that I got from Alex for Halloween. Um, I honestly, I don't know that I'm even gonna buy this, um, this year's Halloween release. I don't think I'm gonna get anything. I think I'm just gonna use the mixed mayonnaise that I have. And then if I need more, I have tons of just Halloween sets, you know, I could do if we run out of content for, I don't see that happening by the way, but if we do, I have more. So, um, I don't think I'm going to buy the new stuff. I'm not like, I like the purple one. I might get that. I do like the, is like purple potion, something potion. I can't remember. It was kind of a ombre type um, thing and it was like purple to black or black into purple however you want to look at the directional portion of the ombre um, but it uh, I really like that one I might I might buy that I don't know but I'm just not been super excited with what they're doing and so, like, I just don't feel the need to, like, rush out and buy any of the releases. I did the, um, the throwback ones because, I mean, you would have to be silly not to buy, um, those sets that are, you know, um, Infinity Love people were paying ridiculous prices for that. Um, so to get it for, I actually got it less than retail because the person that I bought it from was selling them for $10. So to get those kind of sets for less than retail, like, of course I'm going to buy those. But I don't know, the new stuff, I'm kind of just like, well, whatever, it's, it's fine. It's not bad. I'm just not like super excited by it anymore, I don't think. I don't know. I still love my color street. I don't think there's anything like it. Going back to the nail salon confirmed that. Um, that I'd much rather stick with color street than anything else, but I'm going to use this other bit, I think on the, um, pinky. This one I probably won't use it though because it's a little pinky and I don't really use the little pinkies very often so but I will probably save it in case I use it for like nail art with something you know use it to make punches or a slant you never know so I save everything it's ridiculous I know This is annoying the crap out of me. The way it's sticking to my skin. Like it just doesn't want to let go. I like that. Okay. 
I hate it when the tablet thinks I'm talking to it and it stops playing and like listens. It's so creepy and weird. Sorry, I needed a sip of water. Do the thumbs before we yeah let's do the thumbs before we do the decals you know what though i need to seal up these little guys before i forget the longer they're sitting open the less fresh they will be when I go to use them again. So let's get these sealed up here. Okay. Then we can also turn off the, my little melter. Yeah, this blue would not normally be my jam, but I'm really liking it. Even though it's like a sort of a pastel blue, um, I like it. I think I liked pretty much everything that came out in this collection. It was the like carnival themed one. So you had, this was fortune teller and that was the one that had pinball queen and um, kissing booth. And there was a lot of good sets in that one. I seem to recall anyways. But honestly, I would wear that just by itself. I think it's really pretty. Good color. I do tend to prefer, like, if I was gonna have a pastel on, it would be a blue versus like pink or something, you know. Oh, son of a biscuit. Okay. I love this overlay. It's really pretty, I think. It can go over a lot of stuff, like I'm trying to think of something that I wouldn't want to put this over and I honestly like obviously a dark color you're not gonna be able to put it like you wouldn't be able to put it over midnight in Manhattan and see it but colors that aren't too dark I don't know that just looks really good I like it I'm also kind of like an 80s child when fashion like this was, you know, the thing. The secretary's running around and with big hair and Aquanet and their work jackets in this print, I can see it. Like I can see the, the big hair and the makeup and the, the work jacket with the, shoulder pads almost as big as an NFL player would wear and so maybe this pattern brings up some childhood nostalgia or something I don't know but I like it Ooh. 
well, I can't say much. I, in my teenage years, used my fair share of hairspray too. So I can't talk about their big hair and their can of Aquanet because I used it to make like, oh God, do you remember in the 90s, the big bangs? <laughs> God, they were so ugly. Well, we all did it, didn't we? The big, huge bang. Oh my God, it was awful. It was awful. We all did it though, with our scrunchy socks and all that fun stuff. <laughs> um, God, when I look back at pictures of me from when I was a teenager, it's so funny. I think oh, that's any generation though, right? Like everybody, they look back at those kind of pictures and they're like, oh my God. What was I thinking? My my bang wave probably gave me an extra two inches of height. I swear it was so tall. And you spray you hairsprayed the crap out of it so that it would stay all day and like not move. You could be in like gale force winds and that hair would stay still. God forbid you got a lighter around anybody like all that hairspray and we'd all catch on fire. Okay. What do we think? I think it looks pretty cute. I kind of want to put this, the rest of this over my negative space here. No, it's going to be too dark. Okay, let's not do that. We're just going to toss that. All right, so now let's see here. We have, I think I'm going to leave this finger without a decal on it. So we'll do these on this instead. Or, yeah, no, I'm gonna leave those that way. Okay. And then, let's see. Let's do this one. My, oh, my warming mat is getting so nice and toasty. I love it. It's so toasty. Right. Most of these I've had to cut the end because I want them to be in a certain spot and if I don't cut the end off, it's not gonna go there. So I think we're gonna do the same thing. With these will cut a little bit off the end. So that way we don't have to clean too much of it off the cuticle area. metal on a hot item, guess what? <laughs> it gets hot. It's shocking, I know. Oh, God. If I was leaving any of these longer than a day or two, I would put gel top coat on because I think that would just like seal everything in so good and make it like super pretty and shiny but I'm not really leaving any of them on long enough to want to do a gel really okay
Yeah, I need to cut quite a bit off of that. Okay. Ah, okay. Everything is sticking to my skin. It's driving me nuts. So one of these, the things I love about these decals that Alex made is that because they're not color straight, um, they're on, I mean, they're on a color straight strip, they're on clear as day, but you know what I mean. Um, the design itself stands out because it's not polish. So you really get to see it even over your Manny, you know? Get these off the scissors there. All right. I'm not, I, I thought I would really like the house banners, but I'm not as much of a fan of those as I am of the other stuff. Um, I think it just gives me too much of a sports theme kind of vibe that I'm not in love with. I don't know. All right. Ooh. Uh-oh. It's sticking to the top, no. I think I got, there we go, okay. Woo, crisis averted. <laughs> sure we're gonna cut the end off of this one too just like we have with the others and this little guy is gonna go right here actually I need to cut more off okay I love the little Bobby, he's so cute. He's so cute, I love him. if I want to use the other house banner or not. Just because I'm not liking it as much as the others. I'm wondering if I should even put it, another one on or if I should just leave that one. Because, let's see. Hmm. I can put this one here. One, two. Actually, that one's perfect for that nail. 
It goes right along with the slant that I put on there perfectly. So that works. can't decide. Yeah, let's just put it on there. Oh. oh. Stuff flying at me everywhere. all the layers I feel like I almost need the gel top coat to like fuse everything together but I'm not gonna do it because I'm gonna just take it off in a day or two anyways so it's kind of a waste I love this, this little key guy. I put this one, it didn't have it in the first one, but I have it, I had it in the second one. And oh my God, he's so cute. I love the little flying key. He's so good. Isn't it? Look at, oh my God. It stands out so good with the gold and it's just so cute. I love it. All right. As I've been doing these, more ideas of tattoos that I want to do. I already told you guys on the last one I wanted to do um, the platform nine and three quarters. I've always wanted to add that in at some point, but um, to the you guys sort of see it when I'm working, but to my this is my Marauders map themed tattoo and I want to add the the nine and three quarters, but I think I want the flying key too. I really like the flying key. It's cute. But someday. Tattoos are expensive. It's ridiculous. But it is a permanent piece of artwork on your body. So, you know, not really the place you want to skimp, I guess, right? Mm. can buy generic from the grocery store, but don't really want to do that with permanent ink on your body, right? <laughs> now, should I do these on my ring fingers or the thumbs? Which one should I leave blank? 
think that I'm going to stick with leaving the ring fingers blank and we'll put these on the thumbs. Sorry, this is going to be an hour long video because I didn't start anything beforehand. Did I take the top off of that? Yeah, I did, right? Yeah. It's weird, it doesn't look like I did. The top is definitely off, so I don't know. I just heard the dog snoring, so I thought he was under my desk. So that little noise was me backing up to look. <laughs> nope, not under my desk. He's in the other room entirely, and I can hear him snoring in here. My dog, who is 10 pounds soaking wet, snores like a 300 pound man. <laughs> it's ridiculous how loud he can snore sometimes. I know you guys probably can't hear it over the video, but I can hear them from the next room. By the way, I really like that one. I think it looks cute on there with the boucle print in the background. And then I've had one of these, at least one anyways, in every Manny. I think the first Manny I had two of these ones but I've had it in every Manny so far on the thumb. At least one thumb. I think the first Manny I did it on both thumbs. And then the second one I did one thumb with this just like I am now, so. Yeah, I like this over the boucle jacket print. It looks cute. Okay. All right. Well, I think we have completed another one, my friends. So three down, one more to go. I know it's almost over. I'm sad. Um, yeah. So there is the Ravenclaw house uh, themed Potter Manny. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you on the next one. Love you. Bye.